What's up everybody, Ben Y here. Welcome to Tactical Fellowship. The purpose of today's video is to pick up where Robocop left off. Of course, that means we're talking about the Beretta Target 87. Why this video? Why now the Beretta Target 87 is kind of hard to come by. Matter of fact, I did not even know that this gun existed. Well, it does exist and there are a few that can be bought on GunBroker and other places. And so you might come across one and wonder yourself, should I pick one up? What are the pros? What are the cons? What are the potentials? And that's what I'm going to answer for you today. What have I done to the scene? Well, I've thrown a Hollow Sun 507C on the top using the Picatinny and then a Streamlight ProTac hanging off an Amazon mount that I picked up for only a few dollars. It does have the tension knob right here which is occluding the red dot. I just look right through it and hopefully I hit what I'm shooting at. Just kidding, that's unsafe shooting. I'm always sure what I'm shooting at. The Target 87 was produced from about 1976 to 2017, weighing in at a stout 29 and a half ounces. It feels nice, it's full aluminum framed, it's a heavy little beast of a thing. Featuring a 5.9 inch barrel, it is an extremely accurate little piece of 22 hardware. I have put clay pigeons on a dirt pile 75 yards away and was able to plink these things into clay dust using just the Target Iron sights, really long barrel, good velocity, good accuracy. It's a little laser beam of a 22 handgun, to be honest. Also worth note, when it comes to 22 handguns, sometimes the feeding can be finicky. The magazines for this are proprietary, they're expensive, and they're hard to come by. But they feed this gun reliably every single time. I have never had an issue with feeding, and this goes even with hollow points. The magazine itself is really nice quality, as you can tell. It also gives a little bit additional purchase down there for your pinky to sit on, and that's kind of nice. The safety has a good tactile feel, up and down. Extraction also rips out the shell every time. It is a solid, trouble-free shooting experience with this gun. Two Taco Bell! The 80s was not the best decade. All right, so let's move into some cons for this. Con number one for me is that there's literally zero hope of silencing this bad boy. When you look at the front, look at this thing, this square block of Robocop goodness there, and having an option to mount a suppressor on a 22 is kind of a no-brainer in 2023. The other con is it's really awkward to rack this thing. You have to come up underneath and kind of move it like this. As you can see, it is a pretty awkward little manual of arms. If you have a lady or a junior shooter who's trying to do this, they will struggle bus. And you might wonder, well, why don't you just grasp the back? And you can, but there's nothing really, there's no serrations. So the manual says, take here, pull back. Awkward little racking, especially if you're a junior or a lady shooter without much strength in your digits. I know you've hated the way that I've attached this flashlight on here, which is kind of another con, because there's really no way to attach it down here. This is a Picatinny rail up top, but this is like an inferior Picatinny down below. They forgot to cut the line. You can't put anything Picatinny down. I don't even know what it is that you use to put something on this dumb thing. Which brings us to another con. There's really no holster support for this, but let's be honest. When you have a gat like this, it's not in your holster. It's in your hand taking care here, druggies and drug dealers and stuff like that. The trigger is really, guys online will complain about the trigger, but the trigger is really not supremely terrible. I mean, once it's locked back, it's, boop. They complain about the over travel. I mean, this thing kind of, whoop. In conclusion, the Beretta Target 87 was a product of its time. A time that was good, so good that retro guns from the 80s are actually making their way back in. The Beretta Target 87 might just be one of those guns that makes it back into the mainstream for its angular features and its rails that don't make any sense. For those that are savvy though, they do make sense and you can find a way. For the rest of us though, guys, take care of yourselves. Make sure you ride fast, shoot straight and get off the couch and into some tactical fellowship. We'll see you next time.